Bank feeds in Sage Accounting. A bank feed is a secure online connection between Sage Accounting and your bank. This will automatically import transaction details from your bank, meaning there's no need for manual entry or manual importing of transactions. This makes it the quickest and easiest way to create bank transactions and reconcile your accounts. Sage Accounting connects to most banks, but there will be some that are not currently supported. We check bank feeds for new transactions regularly throughout the day. However, bank feeds rely on your bank sending the information to accounting. So if your recent transactions don't appear immediately, simply check again later. Setting up a bank feed. To set up a bank feed, first choose banking from the menu at the top. Then locate the bank account you'd like to connect and select the Actions drop down arrow and connect bank. Enter the name of your bank or credit card company in the search box or choose your bank from the tiles here. If your bank account does not appear in this search, it means your bank doesn't currently have a supported feed available and your data entry will need to be manual or via imports. Follow the on-screen steps to connect your bank. When setting up a bank feed, you'll be asked to authorise a connection between your bank account and Sage Accounting. This is different for each bank. Ensure you enter the correct login details during this process. If your bank supports downloading historical transactions, you can enter the day you'd like to start importing transactions from. Once the bank feed is set up, you can start processing the downloaded transactions. The bank account tile in banking shows the number of transactions imported from your bank in awaiting review. To view all imported transactions, click the number of transactions. The oldest transactions are listed at the top with the date reference and amount. Money in is displayed in black and money out is in red with a minus symbol. If you do not wish to import a transaction, say it's already been processed manually, you can discard an entry by ticking the chosen transaction or transactions and selecting the bin icon. The processing options are shown to the right of the amount. Matching transactions. This is where the incoming transaction should be allocated to an existing outstanding invoice or existing transaction in accounting. Bank feeds will look for potential matches of any existing payments, receipts or invoices that have the same date and value as the import. This will automatically be matched and if it's correct, all you have to do is click match. If a match isn't found automatically, you can match the imported transaction to an existing transaction of your choice. To do this, click match. You can use the search box to help you find the transaction you're looking for. Tick the box to the left and then click match. If you're matching a part payment, you'll need to amend the payment box at the bottom to specify the exact amount being paid towards the invoice. You can also match one payment to several invoices in one go. Create transactions. This should be used to create money in or money out transactions that don't have an invoice in accounting. This could be something like a one-off purchase. When creating a transaction, the for dropdown is where you choose a customer or a supplier. This isn't mandatory and you can leave this blank if you need to. In the what dropdown, you can select the ledger account. The reference is pre-populated with what your bank shows, but you can amend this if required. Select the correct VAT rate if the right one's not displaying. Change the method if required and select Create. If you need to allocate to more than one ledger account or tax code, you can do so using the split transaction icon. Select the split icon and then enter the relevant ledger accounts, tax codes and values. You can also create a payment on account for customers or suppliers using this option, which will be allocated to an invoice at a later date. 
To create a payment on account, select the contact record in the 4 drop down. In the what drop down, select payment on account. Amend the reference and method if required. Then click create. Payment or receipt remains outstanding on the supplier or customer account until it's allocated to an invoice. Transfer between accounts. This option should be used when transferring money between bank accounts. To do this, choose transfer, then choose a relevant bank account the money is being transferred from or to. Once happy with the information entered, click transfer. Please note, if both bank accounts use bank feeds, you should only use the transfer option in one of them. To avoid duplicates, you can discard or match the imported transactions from the other bank account. Bank feed rules. Bank rules help you automatically create transactions imported from bank feeds. Meaning when your transactions are imported, bank rules are applied and transactions are categorized automatically. Set up a rule by clicking here or rules management at the top of the incoming transaction list. Each rule has a combination of conditions such as the reference and the amount that are used to recognize this transaction in the future. For example, if you pay your gas bill by direct debit each month, the reference and the amount would be the same. So this can be automatically identified, categorized and created without manually entering any information. Complete the required information and click save. Next time you process your incoming transactions, you'll see where the bank rules have been applied and you can create all transactions with a rule applied at the click of a button. You have now learned how to connect and process your bank feed in Sage Accounting. <laughs>